hello everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim potion i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is for the part of the channel where we talk about real life issues okay real life issues and so don't mind don't mind how wait don't mind how i'm looking okay believe it or not it's after one o'clock in the morning in the uk um so people should be long well people are sleeping however i've just been sitting listening to some messages and whatnot and um and basically i got the go ahead to share something that i posted a few weeks ago um i think it's about two weeks already if not three um but before i actually fully explain um what it is um i basically posted um a post um say there's a change of the guards power must change hands okay so for those of you who follow my personal instagram page you probably would have come across that post now that post came about as a dream that i had and i'm going to have um, i'm going to explain to you what i saw in the dream so that you have an understanding of what else I'm going to share, okay, throughout the course of this video. Now, in the dream, I saw, it's a dream type vision, so my eyes are open, I can see. So, in the dream, I was in Ghana, okay, I was in Ghana, and I saw, um, these it was it was basically like an occasion that was set an event and um i could only see a stage where the dancers were so they were dancing it's, it was all women they were dance they were wearing the traditional um kente and the ghanaian dancers outfit okay made of kente and they were dancing and how I knew it was Ghana because they were do I've seen the Ghana dance before. So if you know the what's it called when they twist their wrist and turn it and dance, that is the dance they were doing. Okay. Now as I was watching them dance, the men also came in front of created a straight line in front of me. And when they created that line, a young man who, a lot of us, all of us, well, most people in Africa know this person. Um, I'm not going to say his um, influencing name, because when it, when it comes to the things of God, I like to say people's name by who they really are. But you would know who this person is, okay? So he came, he came out and as he was coming out, he was hiding. And I was wondering like, why is he hiding? So he was hiding behind the men so that people wouldn't see him. So he came and then when he got to the, st um, to, into the room fully, he stood up and the men were covering him. And then there were officials, government officials, okay? Um, it was a man and a woman. I don't know. I've never seen these these government officials before. But the reason why I knew there were government officials was because they said to this young man, welcome to United Nations. And they shook his hand and he shook first the, the man's hand and then he, um, and then the man walked away to one side 
and then it was the woman he went to shake the woman's hand but the woman just lifted him up instead and embraced him and and put him down and i woke up now this young man is his real name is called bethel winkler bethel winkler but if i tell you his um influencing name is Wademaya. okay so this is why i knew it was ghana but when i woke up from the from the vision or the dream should i say um i asked god like i was baffled in my physical state i was baffled because when bethel when you talk to bethel and about the issues of politics he doesn't want to be a politician he doesn't want anything to do with government officials but he always addresses like government african um what's it called african government okay in his videos and so i was like god why would you show me bethel being welcomed into united nations why did you show me this dream like why did you show me this and then that's when god said there's a changing of the gods power must change hands now bethel simply represents a a generation a generation of young people between between 20 and 30 in their 30s he he represents that generation of Ghanaians okay and there is a generation that God has already raised for Africa and especially like especially Ghana as well Ghana being one of the African countries um God has raised them and they're supposed to be in a position of leadership however they haven't been given the opportunity to lead because there's an older generation who doesn't want to move and um, doesn't want to come out of power to give power to the young people to to govern basically and to run the the governmental arena the government sphere of influence the political sphere of influence now i didn't know what you know because I'm not, I'm not into politics. I'm not um, into anything that into politics like that. However, when um, when the dream talked about United Nations, welcome to United Nations. I knew the United Nations had to do with government. So I googled it before coming on this video. Um, just I know that they. They have a presence in the UK, but I didn't know, I wasn't sure if they had a presence in Ghana. So today, well, earlier on, yesterday, should I say, um, God said, release the word over Ghana. So then I, just before I came on the video, I Googled um, to find out if United Nations is also um part of ghana or ghana is part of united nations and i found out that it is ghana has been part of united nations since 1960 and they work with in partnership with the government and the ghanaian people okay for the sustainability of um economic sustainable social development economic peace and also health um within no not health sorry peace and human rights so they work for the sustainability of social development economic um development peace and human rights within ghana okay so i was like okay so I don't um, fully know how that's going to happen, how that is going to play out. But for those of you who are in Ghana, if you know that God is laying it on your heart for you to 
um, take that role of being within United Nations, um, I would say to you, take that role um, so that the will of God prospers within Ghana. And um, I would say that um, whatever God is going to do within the social development of Ghana, within the economic development of Ghana, and within the human rights um, within Ghana, and the peace of Ghana, let it prosper. And um, that is all I'm going to say. And I'm going to just keep it praying, praying about it. For those of you who are believers in Jesus Christ, um, something that you should pray about, pray about it. And that God, the will of God will prevail over Ghana even in this time. And that the generation that God has raised to be in the government and to be within the United Nations for the sake of Ghana and for the sake of the people of Ghana, that they come forth and they begin to take their position in Jesus' name. And that is basically it. So remember, there's a changing of the God. Power must change hand. So... When there is a changing of the God, it means it's a it's a royal word. Um, it's a royal word for those of you who don't under, fully understand that word. It's a royal word, and it's it normally happens with um, when the royal family, like for example, if the king, um, they have royal guards, like two sets of royal guards. So the first royal guard that looks after the royal family for like a month or two, sometimes three months, those guards every day they look after the 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 royal family basically. Now when they're changing, when they're changing, um, the guards, okay, uh, for the new gods that are coming on duty to take their post there is a changing of the god so the old will move and there's a, normally a parade the old gods will move and then the new gods that are supposed to go on duty will come on and they'll change and they'll change keys like this is what happens with the royal family they'll change keys and they'll change like literally everything um they'll give them keys and they'll give them like uniforms and everything right so they take basically they strip the old guards of the authority to work to work on that time by basically taking the keys away from them and taking everything like that represents them as gods they'll give it to the new gods so that is basically what god is doing in the spirit taking away of authority of some people and putting new people into authority and new people into authority and that doesn't mean that it's just going to be young people in in regards to the the vision i had it's not just going to be young people but there's going to be a older generation that embraces the young people who are in who are going who god is putting in position now over Ghana, okay, they're going to embrace them, okay, and then there are going to be some who are going to basically leave their position, some will remain and embrace the new, the new um, set of leaders, and some of the old leaders will have to leave, will have to leave basically United Nations, they'll have to leave their positions, for their positions to be filled by the new generation. That is it, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.